What's up, planet folks? My name is Silverslate, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. This is part 9. In the last episode, we defeated the Azalea, Azalea, Azalea City Gym Leader Bugsy, and we got the Hive Badge along with DM89 U Turn, and we experienced some glitching along the road. In this episode, we're going to proceed into Ilex Forest, which is on the west of here. Ilex Forest. Pretty cool place, I must say. At least the image looks really cool. Now, as soon as you proceed, you will run into wild Pokemon. Like, <laughs> that was not really what I was planning to say. Catapy, I don't really want a Catapy. I'm not gonna, like, kill it. That's mean. Although, there is a person here. If you walk by him, he's gonna notice you. Oh, man. My boss is going to be angry. The Farfetch that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Farfetch have sensitive ears. If you stamp on a branch, they will face toward you. That's your chance. Sneak him from behind and catch them. Do you think you can do that? Not okay. We will run into wild Pokemon randomly, like... If that's the case, you know... Forgive me, this place is filled with random Pokemon, obviously. Now... You can't really go another way. Farfetch knows you. It seems to face the direction of the noise when you stop on a branch. And then, as soon as you try to catch it... You will run away. You need to catch it from behind. You really want it at the bottom left corner. So, like, basically just try to chase it. Like, this puzzle is difficult for me because I've never done it before. If you want to chase it from behind it, right now you can. So, it will, it will simply follow the road. Alright. I'll be running around the circle, as you can see. Hmm... Now it's actually very simple. If you step on this, he will face down, and then you can walk around him, and you can catch him. That's the deal at least. And there's a random out of pod here. Like I have repels if I get too many wild pulling out, there's randomly do that. So, boom. Qua! You snuck up and caught it from behind before it noticed you. Whoa, you found the far fast. Thank you. But there's one more missing. If you sink it on a branch, you will face it, remember? That's your chance to catch it, snoop up from it slowly from behind. Now I gotta find the other um, far fetched. It's farther back in the forest, it's pretty much east. Now if you go eastward, you will have an item here. It's a revive. It's always pretty nice. And I'm probably going to use repels because I'm pretty much sick of this encounter rate. If I find one more on the road. Alright, now, if you step on here, there's nothing you can do, but as you can see, there is one there. Okay, that's it, that's it. I'm using repels. I'm, I'm definitely using repels. I'm done with these, these these stupid bug Pokemon. I got repels, so I might as well... Uh, item pocket, repel, use. There we go, at least I got some space. What do you want to do? Just make sure it goes to the top right. It will flee. Just like that. And I believe I know what to do, because it will just simply go like this. And then you can walk around the branches. And follow it up from behind. There you go. You snuck up a call it from behind before it noticed you. That's the second one. Wow, you got me both of them. Thank you so much. My boss Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. Whew, you saved me. That's where his boss rounds in. Oh, my far and fetched. Really, did you name the one far and the other fetched? That's lame. You found them for us, Kit? Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, Kit. Now, how can I thank you? I know, here, take this. It's HM01, which is cut. It's pretty nice. That's HM cut. Teach that to Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym beach from Azalea to use it. Yeah, I don't really have a Pokemon which can learn it, so I'm gonna go back and pick one up. However, I believe you can actually talk to these people. After you receive HM01 cut, you can go back to Azalea Town. Maybe I have to go to Card because one of these people um, gives you something. Maybe maybe Kurt himself will give you an item. He's here. You have Apricorns for me? I'll turn them into Pokeballs. No, I don't want that. That's a lot down. Slowpoke when that gave me came back. It still has grown back. Okay, that's cute. At least let me pick up this one. After you receive, receive HM1 cut, you can come back to Zeta Town and talk to the people you helped out there. You will receive a free charcoal for your trouble. 
But where exactly? Skin there's not even possible. The charcoal's man Pokemon can cut down trees. That must be the same person who um Maybe he lives near. That that should be him. Let's take, let's talk to him. You chase up Team Rock in the woods Edelix Forest alone, that takes God to come train with us. I'm sorry I forgot to thank you, this is charcoal that I made. Fire type moves will become more powerful when Pokemon holds that. That's the item I was looking for. Plus, if you go to the Azalea City shop, which is the mart, then you can buy charcoals here. They're, they're a bit expensive, 9,800 Poké Dollars. But if you need one, you can get one here, which is always nice. And I would like myself to have a team member. Where exactly? Oh wait, I traded um, Buzzsprout. So I'm gonna get Alex back in my team. And Alex will serve as my cutter for now. Plus, I'm going to save state in a bit because I don't want to take risks since, like, the last time I got glitched. I don't want to get glitched again because that means I have to, like, start all the way back. And that is unfortunate. Even Dixie can learn it, but I don't want to waste it on Dixie because cut is a bad move. Especially if it's an end move. Okay, now that we got that, I'm actually going to go back to Route 32 near Violet City to pick up an item. So I'll see you guys there. Alright, we are on Route 32 on the north northern part, maybe northwestern part if you want to call it. And there is this bush here, which is pretty obvious that we have to cut this one. So Alex, use cut. Good Radita. You go over here, and then there is this rather big person here. Roar! People run when I roar, but you came looking. That pleases me. I'll take this. Which is team of five. Roar. What a surprise. Roar! It's Roar! Even Pokemon run from a good roar. Yeah. <laughs> it isn't useful in game at all, but at least we got the item. So I'll meet you guys back in Elix Forest. Alright, we are back and we're standing in Elix Forest right in front of a bush. So let's cut it down so we can proceed with our adventure. Now, a little fact here this is the Elix Forest Shrine, it's a tribute to the forest's protector. And it turned night. Or evening, actually, because it's 7pm at my place. That's pretty ironically timed. But, if you have a shiny Pichu, or a special sort of shiny Pichu in the colors of a Pikachu, you can get it from Diamond Pearl Pilot and during a uh, Mystery Gift event. You can get a special Pokemon here. I'll... Obviously I don't have that, but if you really want me to do that, make sure to leave a comment so that I can keep it in mind. If I do it, I'll do it as a bonus episode once the Let's Play ends, so make sure to remind me at the end of the Let's Play if you really want to see what happens. Because it will show a certain Pokemon. But okay, I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna use another Repel because I really don't like Repels. Why do we even have Repels in the first place? We're proceeding. What did it say? Alternative in this forest is so overgrown trees that you can't see the sky. Please watch it for items that may have been dropped. Cause yeah, we're near the lake. There's a little nook down here. And there is an exit deck hidden behind it. So that's nice. Then if you proceed through the forest, there is this guy here. He's on a ledge. We cannot reach him yet, but we'll get back to him later. If you go north, your repel runs out. <laughs> if you go north, you'll run into a certain girl. We'll be going through that. I will only want super repels. Trust me, those are like my favorite items in the entire game. Super repels. There's this girl here. It's a kimono girl. Kimono girl, kimono girl. Lost and all alone. Poor girl lost in the dark. Elix forest. What, your memory from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyway, we'll show you how to get out of this forest. You will? Aren't you lost in the forest as well? How do you end to get out of here? What is, what's Dixie doing? Wow, you're going to show me how to get out? You're such a smart Pokemon. See you. Hey! What? Dixie, what did you do there? Dixie. Dixie's playing around with a leaf. How oh, cute. <laughs> but, okay. Obviously, there is an ether here, so... We might as well pick it up. And then we can go down. And we'll reach that dude in a second. This is like a really big place, but there is this dude here. Boom! He's head bonking trees. Why is he doing that? 
What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using headbutt. It's fun. Here, you try to put your Pokemon too. Which should learn it. You can learn it at any time. And any Pokemon can learn it. So I'm going to give it to Lisa. Oh, that Pokemon cannot learn it. And I'm going to give it to Dixie. This headbutt is a strong 70 power solid physical based move. And it's definitely better than a scratch. But then again, why do I really need scary face? So I might as well. Because headbutt has lost PP. So I gotta be careful with that. And Dixie learned. Headbutt. How do you like it? Your Dixie looks stronger. Now you can headbutt trees. There are a lot of them obviously here. Boom. And sometimes you fall find like random Pokemon here. For example, Metapods. But you can find a lot of Pokemon here. Some of them are common, some of them are uncommon. I'm not gonna like list them all. Because there are quite a lot, I can actually name a few interesting ones. You can find Heracross in like Azalea Town. Ape Bombs, Sparrows, Executes, Pinecos, Beedrills, Butterfreeze, Noctowls. You can find those, like, in all sorts of places. So make sure to headbutt some random trees whenever you feel like it, and obviously get back to Elex Forest if you want to relearn that move, because a lot of Pokemon can learn headbutt, and it's a good move. And I also just wasted my last repel. Now, you... What's this doing here? Nah, there's not. I'm not gonna headbutt all the trees, that would, like, take too much time. Just follow the road, and is this the exit? Hmm, where did the Komodo girl go? Did she the shine the place home to the protector? Does protect the watch over the forest from a crest time? I think that must be a grass type Pokemon. I wonder that. But yeah, the Komodo girl is pretty much gone. So that's strange. Let's go to Route 34. Is there a lot to cover in Route 34? No, nah, that's okay. We have some trainers, but I am going to cover Route 34 and Golden Route City in the next episode because I don't want to have too long episodes. But I don't think I can like cover the entire route in one episode. Because that would make long episodes and I am not a fan of those. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode for Route 34 and Golden Route City. Until next time, this was Silver Sleeve from Planet Pokey, signing out. Later.